ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome today's video is a special one for me probably two months ago maybe a little bit more I purchased a new vehicle I haven't shared it with you guys and I've actually been trying to avoid having it on camera um, but I've been living with this car again I, I just I can't drive cars as much as I would like to but I've definitely spent quite some time behind the wheel of this vehicle I want to introduce to you guys a 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. This is a V8 5.0 supercharged motor and it produces 550 horsepower and about 503 pound-feet of torque. It is unbelievably fast. So if you guys have noticed, we have some damage right here but thankfully since I've had this car for a while I have parts and it's going in to get fixed today it needs a few things like rear tires if you guys can see that very minor bump but it's definitely here so this tire is unfortunately compromised although the tread is good I don't know what happened either they put too much air in it but the gentleman who I bought this car from said he just put new tires on it a few months ago so that's really disappointing and it has like I don't know 46 47 thousand miles the front rotors and brake pads need to be replaced so all of that is on the way um, actually 49,000 miles, we're almost at 50k. But we're gonna jump in, we're gonna head to the lot, and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this thing. All right, we are in the Jag now. I love driving this thing in paddle shift mode, so basically sport mode. I have learned how to make it pop and crackle, more or less on demand. Listen. The exhaust note is definitely amazing on this thing. And as you can imagine with the power it has, it is very, very fast. So I'm gonna get out of the paddle shift mode. We're gonna roll up the windows, turn on some AC for now. Um, so what do I think of this car? I absolutely love it. I think that's probably going to summarize this whole experience. I think if you guys uh, read forums or watch other YouTube videos on this car, I don't think there's a single person that didn't love or didn't enjoy driving this car. It is a lot of fun. It is a head turner. It gets a lot of attention. This is a black car, so it's nothing you know, not a special color that would draw attention, but just the way it looks, the shape, it is so unique. It is, it is awesome. And I was actually very curious about this car. And I told myself, if I'm gonna buy one, I want it to be the 5.0 supercharged. And a few months ago, I was working late at night, and then I was like, hey, let me see what's for sale. Something with a rebuilt title. And I somehow came across this thing. And the guy was asking almost $30,000 for this car, rebuild title. Um, and I was like, hey, let me offer him 25 grand, see what happens. So he calls me in the morning and he goes, hey, look, so I wasn't gonna take 25 grand, but a few days ago I was driving, this lady pulled out in a parking lot and essentially scuffed the front bumper, which you guys saw. Uh, he's like, so, you know, I don't want to deal with that. I want to fix it. I'll, I'll sell it for 25. I was like, well, send me a picture. Let me see what it looks like. And he sent me a terrible, terrible picture. If I find it on my phone still, I'll put it in the video. And I couldn't see anything. And I was like, well, kind of difficult to see. Um, let me come out, take a look at it. If, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But let me at least come out, take a look at it. 
So I went out there to, to, to uh, take a look at it, and honestly, it's not that bad. Damage isn't terrible. And I offered him 24 grand. And uh, this vehicle was damaged before. I found pictures online. It had minor front end and rear end damage, which I'll show you guys pictures also. And he had a shop close to his business, repair it, uh, buy insurance quota. It was crazy, it was like $18,000 worth of repairs of OEM parts and whatnot. But since they kind of know each other, uh, they dropped the price down to like 12 grand. So they fixed the car for him. He didn't have insurance on it. And essentially, that's why he didn't want to fix it. Because um, he just went through the repairs. The repairs took a long while because with uh, COVID and whatnot, when he bought it, it was a little bit difficult to source parts. Uh, and he didn't want to go through that again. So I offered him 24 grand. I was like, I'll take it as is. And he accepted. So this is how I got the car. This is how much I paid for it. The parts that are in the trunk are probably, I don't know, $300, $400 worth of parts. And the guys who I'm taking it to, to basically align the front end, paint everything, are charging me $900. Let's get to the lot though, and uh, we'll do another walk around and I'll kind of tell you guys a little bit more about it. All right guys, I have to apologize. I did get to the lot, but I couldn't find time to kind of go around it, so. I'm actually going to uh, the shop to drop this thing off to get it repaired. But, you know, we're just starting with this video. We're still going to go through it. We're going to burn these tires. So I showed you guys there's a small bump. I have new tires on the way. We're going to burn these tires. We're going to do a massive burnout, some donuts. At least that's the plan. Uh, my friend has a huge yard for basically semi trucks and trailers. Uh, so it's gonna be in a safe environment, nothing illegal. But we're gonna see how well this thing does with just straight up burning out and whatnot. So don't go anywhere. Uh, but for now, we're gonna take it to the shop to get it fixed up, repaired, and we will resume once it's done. And hopefully it's gonna be done well and done right. Two weeks later. It's been a little bit too long, but it looks like bumper more or less is ready to rock and roll so let's go to the lot pick up the beautiful jag and bring it to these guys so they could finish it up you guys i am unbelievably excited because um one i'm ready to sell the jag um because i've had it for a little while and i uh, gotta focus on the r8 and two i have really really missed driving that jag honestly it's one of it's one of the most favorite cars that I have owned, hands down. Did you guys look at how filthy she is? I feel so, so bad. It's been parked for about two, maybe three weeks. The problem is though, we had some nasty, nasty rain a few days ago and it brought down a whole bunch of this stuff and we don't know what it is. Um, but this is a cold start. Cold start is not super, super impressive especially that it starts in eco mode. But guys, I have missed this thing, you don't even know. So I am very excited to get it done and that I could actually drive it. At least for a little bit before I sell it. <laughs> I wanna push it so bad because I have missed the raw supercharged power, but we can't because this is how I'm driving it. No bumper, no grill, it doesn't look good. But hopefully within an hour or two they will put it back together and I can pick this thing back up and take it home. And this windshield is hecka dirty. Let me see. Uh, I do have a little bit of spray in there. Okay, well it looks a little bit cleaner. A few moments later. All right, be the BMW, not BMW. Jaguar has been dropped off. They said it's gonna be done in about an hour. Uh, so back at the log and hang out here and then go grab the car. A little longer than a few minutes later. Guys, thank you so much for uh, making it this far. Car is at the house. Like I said before, I absolutely love this thing. Um, what I have to do is clear that airbag code um, because, well, I scanned it with one of my computers it said that um, basically like accident memory full 
but it didn't show any like shorted circuits or whatever but that was kind of like a baby computer so I wasn't able to clear it I'm gonna try to clear with my big computer I will probably do a full detail on this car like inside and out just so that I mean it looks really really good like polished and everything um, and then this car is ready for a new owner well one we have to burn the old tires these and then I have new tires that I have to install after that the car is gonna be ready to go so as much as I love it I mean I'm in the business to sell cars but if anyone is in the market for one of these with the 5.0 supercharged you will guys I don't think I've I mean out of the six seven hundred miles that I've driven in this car I don't think once I drove it without a smile this car is absolutely special in every way it it drives super nice very precise the power on tap is there the exhaust note is there it doesn't have to be loud if you don't want it to be loud i i cannot recommend this car enough um i definitely see myself down the road buying one of these and just keeping it just because i mean i only thumbs up only thumbs up so we're gonna pause it here and then resume once i'm uh kind of ready to move on with uh, with the video. A new day um, and I'm gonna try to replace the rotors and brake pads on the Jag also clear the airbag light if I can with my bigger tool just so that we could finish this thing up dial it in so it's more or less perfect for the next owner as much as I don't want to sell it because again guys I really do love this car this is an amazing amazing car but I now have this, so that's my next project. So yeah, I'm gonna maybe give you guys a very quick updates as I'm working through the Jag, um, but I don't know. I feel like this video has been pretty lengthy and there's still a whole bunch of stuff to do in this video. So honestly, I'm probably just going to uh, try to rush through it and kind of you know get it done without taking a video. Okay, so I am gonna give you guys a slight update. It's been like 10, 15 minutes. I took off the first uh, wheel and 
and the brake pads are like literally almost new. Uh, I feel slight, slight kind of like bumpiness on the rotor uh, towards the wheel hub bearing area. So I'm assuming, because the previous owner said it just got serviced, I'm assuming they put new brake pads on, but they didn't resurface the rotors, which kind of sucks. Um, so honestly, I don't think I'm going to be replacing it. I do have the new rotors, new brake pads here. Um, so I'll probably just sell it with the vehicle. So now I'm going to try to reset the airbag. And if that's done, then now we're moving forward. I am on my way to the lot. I tried to uh, clear the airbag light and would you look at that. I did not clear the airbag light on and now I have a check engine light. So I connected my scanner tool and uh, the whole computer thing went nuts. The center screen right here between the speedometer and uh, tachometer or the tachometer um, started to show something like e-brake fault, transmission malfunction, uh, this malfunction, this malfunction, uh, traction control, I mean like literally everything and I think it triggered the check engine light because um, already driving it, okay I went to Costco, filled it up, uh, put maybe 10-15 miles on it since home, it's running like you know there's no difference because I've actually spent some time in this car but very not happy because uh, computer threw everything off so I'm going to the lot I'm gonna connect my other computer see if I could clear the chicken engine light and start driving because this is not the car you know that the car runs totally fine this is very misleading I want to sell it all right well let's see what we got and if this thing is able to so up here it would like show a whole bunch of faults so let's see what codes we have. Four codes, invalid data received from gateway. So that's probably my darn connector. Throwing everything off. Yeah, see, so that's all it is. There's no actual issues with the car. So let's just try to delete the codes and hopefully it'll clear my check engine light. Because again, no faults. I've done like literally maybe, I don't know, six seven hundred miles in this car with without a single issue there we go no more chicken jelly so sweet but unfortunately now i have to drive it enough to where i can take it through dq um so it passes and i can sell it with a current certificate that more or less says hey there's no issues honestly guys that was super super weird i've never had that happen before literally connected and it had all sorts of faults but glad it's still okay because yeah car hasn't given me a single headache so moving forward the next day so unfortunately i wasn't able to really um shred the rear tires because uh my friend's place that i was gonna do it at told me to do it saturday uh, because one of his employees was uh, doing donuts in the parking lot and essentially he told him don't do it so he doesn't want to be a bad example which I completely understand uh, the problem is today's Thursday and this is the point I have scheduled to put new tires on so clearly can't do it but I did try to do uh, a few burnouts kind of uh, here's the clip Definitely not as much as I wanted to. I wanted better footage, but uh, yeah, it does burn out. I mean, this thing will light up tires with no issues. So now, going to the tire shop, getting new tires installed. We are that much closer to getting this car done and sold. Two hours later. Um, I'm annoyed. Two hours later, guys. Two hours. And the tires are installed. Does it really take two hours to put on two rear tires? You usually have a good experience with Costco, but dang, man. Anywho, we're progressing. Tires look great. 
heading home. I'm gonna take a pause here and probably resume another day. Several days later. So my days are coming to an end, hopefully with this beautiful thing. I really hope you guys could hear that. Like I said, on demand. Just popcorn machine. Oh man, if this is my last drive, I will slightly be disappointed, but more or less happy to, you know, sell another car. But guys, if you are in the market for an F-Type, get the F-Type R. You will absolutely not regret it. You will not be bored. This car is, I mean, I, I just can't say enough good things about it. Ladies and gentlemen, time has come to say goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Thanks to her, she made the sale happen. Uh, this vehicle is actually going to Louisiana and the transporter is on the way to get the stain picked up and loaded uh, within the next 30 minutes to an hour. I will genuinely miss this car because it has given me a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of pleasant emotions, the experiences. I mean, for the money, where else are you gonna find a 550 horsepower supercharged engine that looks as good as this and sounds as good as this? Let me give you guys a little exhaust note, look. There's literally no shortage of thunder that this car brings. Um, like it doesn't have to be always loud and obnoxious, but when you want it to be, it does not disappoint. So I'm happy to say that it's sold, but I'm also very sad to see it go. Um, honestly, if I would have the space and the finances, the means to like store cars, have collector cars, this would definitely be in there because again, I honestly, I have like very, very few uh, negative things to say about it. And those negative things are so minor that, you know, like I could find them a little bit annoying. Okay, I'll mention one. So this Chrome, on a hot summer day, it warms up, and when you have your window down and you put your arm down right here, it burns your arm. Because I did have this car throughout summer. So again, you know, like, it's very, very little things that, yes, the car's at fault, but it doesn't matter. Because the 98 pluses outweigh the, you know, two minor things that I wasn't happy with but i can't even say happy with i mean no negativity towards this car this car surprised me impressed me all the positive things just look at it just look at it and then the way the hood opens it's almost like a transformer headlights are adaptive bye beautiful jaguar bye you have been very very pleasant as she's doing a few minor, uh, you know, touch-ups, clean-ups before uh, this thing gets loaded. Uh, just got off the phone with the transporter. He said he's about 10 miles away, so you should be here in about 15 minutes to pick this thing up. What I wanted to show you guys is this. When I bought the car, uh, the previous owner installed underglow, underglow lights. 
and he actually spent $800 to get them professionally installed. Here's a little, I guess, remote. And I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys, look. Bam! Now look, we could do all types of colors. And it actually goes inside the cabin too. I don't know who would kind of use them or where they would use. I personally didn't really use them. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Color. So there we go. Let's walk around. We got Disco Disco uh, White Strobe. So there's that one. It has sound, but I don't know how to really use the sound. So here you could kind of, oh, and you could, I guess, dim them. Wow. Yeah, honestly, I didn't really play around with this a lot or any, but just, man, look at this thing. <laughs> it is ready to go and lights on the inside. So I guess if you like take it to a car show or whatnot, oh, I guess I did that. Wait, let's turn it off uh, and then turn it on. Do, there we go. See, and they change inside too. To whatever color you want so i guess uh if you want to take the car to a car show or something along those lines and have that like additional oomph to impress if you will you have a remote so we're saying our goodbyes i want to say thank you for watching i know this video was kind of long it was very messy it honestly took me probably three four months to make this video just i wasn't 100 percent focused on it I was just, you know, gathering little bits and pieces in hopes to kind of throw something together and just share my experience with the car, which honestly has been 10 out of 10. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, yeah, people say, you know, negative things about Jags, but I've had a handful of the higher end ones. Haven't had any issues with them. I absolutely love these cars. I'm very thankful that I got to experience this car. And one day I hope to buy another one, but one that I'm gonna keep for a very, very long time, many, many, many years, just because it's been awesome. So thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. See you guys in another video. Goodbye, Jaguar.